Hey guys, it's Emma here. Um, I just wanted to show you really quickly how making one little change to um, your blog can help increase your rankings in the search engines. And what it is doing is by changing some font uh, in your blog. Uh, so I'm just going to show you now. We're going to add a new post. Or it could be a page, whatever it is, it's not too important. So this is going to be like my test post. Okay, so that's the title of my uh, my post here. Now the heading, um, now you should be looking at doing keyword research and the word that you want to rank your blog for. So just say you want to rank for um, internet marketing tools and tips. Just say... I haven't checked Google keyword tool, but just say that gets, you know, 2,000 searches per month. That would be a really great keyword to target. Part of targeting that keyword is ensuring that you have H1, H2, and H3 all optimized on your blog post. So it's really important um, for a whole other variety of reasons to optimize your blog in other SEO ways. This is just one way that I'm showing you so, um, so that you don't get caught up in what is H1, H2, H3. So, um, okay, internet marketing tips and tricks, I think I said. So, well, I'm a little bit fanatical. I like to capitalize these things. So if this was my keyword, I, um, like I said, I'm only just showing you H1, H2, H3. So you select paragraph here because that's the type of font it was using and you simply change it to heading one. Okay, so that instantly is adding to your on-page SEO. So um, then you have your the rest of your blog, a bit of article writing here. And then um, internet marketing tips and tricks. You might want to say now the three forgotten, I don't know, the three, the, C, the three secret T's. I don't know what that is. I'm just totally making things up here. But just highlight it and you're going to change this one to H2. So heading two is the type of font. So, um, you know, you're going to have interesting, inf uh, wonderful information in between these three. I'm just simply showing you um, that you need you can optimize your H1, H2, and H3. So highlight the text, come up here to the types of font, and do just select H3. So these are um, other three that I would suggest using through each one of your blog posts or pages or sales letters, anything really. And this is going to help with your on-page SEO um, in getting your blog ranked organically in the search engines. So you do need to make it look natural and you need uh, the headings to be still enticing and flow well. Don't just shove them in there for the sake of shoving them in there because they'll look out of place and funky and gross. So just make sure that um, you have wonderful content and um, just simply by... Uh, changing the font you can help with your uh, search engine rankings so I suggest you go now and uh, make changes to any of your niche blogs that you have or from now on just keep this at your forefront of your mind about um, optimizing your blog posts um, correctly so this is only one of a few tips that I'm going to be giving out about how to optimize your on-page SEO so I hope that helped everyone